Welcome to the JNT. My people, now welcome to this our news channel. If this one are the first time where you they come across any of our video, I beg make you do well to go subscribe and follow us. And as if they subscribe, don't forget to turn on that notification bell so that all our news will they enter your follow. This one not be them say them say. This one are seeing her for yourself, make you hear her for yourself. Moving on to today news. AIT people don't come and come talk, say they don't know what's in stop. Where you be say government of River State don't say where they remove their transmitter. Say they don't cut cause their cable come out. And I think they want that option now. Say why they go do this kind of thing because they get good relationship with the, the community and with the government. My people, I want to play on the video. Make you not hear what they get to talk for the matter. Make you not watch this video reach the end. And make you not forget to comment and share this video. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, we are here in Port Harcourt, uh, their communication premises where what you just described has taken place since morning. Uh, we've been here, uh, we're even woken up from our sleep with this message that uh, that communication Port Harcourt has been uh, invaded by some agents, agents of government. We, we came here to find out that there are agents of government who have decided to invade the premises. And right now, at the other side of the fence, they, we saw them up the mast. And what we saw, even with the rain, they started disconnecting some items. They went into, they break into, they actually broke into the transmission room and uh, disconnected very important equipment, which are very technical. Don't know how they managed to do that. So we found out that we were off air within that period. And up till now, we are off air. That means they literally shut us down without letting us know. That is what happened today. And we've been asking questions. So we sent some of our officers to that side to be able to interface with them they could not speak to any of them because some of them were not ready to talk and uh, we also saw security men with them and that made some people to be scared because when you see security men with gun you don't know why they're there so we are wondering what's going on does it have to do with the government or anybody else so we are asking questions we want to know what is really going on that's the position that we are now if you can watch uh, the mast now, you, there are some men there still working on the mast, disconnecting more of our cables. We even heard that um, what they are doing could be dangerous, which means that the entire mast, mast can fall on the adjoining buildings around here. So it's indeed a dangerous thing that is going on right now as we speak. Shola? The truth is that uh, this station uh, here in the south-south have been able to assist uh, the common people, have assisted almost um, every politician, no matter which political party or political divide you belong to. It has uh, assisted the previous government and indeed the present government can attest to that. So whatever it is that may have brought this uh, you know, problem, we may not really immediately know, but for sure... Uh, we know that uh, people in government too would want this whole thing to be uh, taken care of, you know, amicably. Uh, not for this root shock that we received this morning, where uh, equipment, so to speak, have been vandalized. So many items in the transmission room have been removed uh, without letting us know. I mean, we we're even on air, and uh, you know, suddenly uh, we just went off air like that, and we found out that these agents just came in without asking anybody and pull down everything in the transmission hall. And so we are really, really shocked. And I'm very sure that government officials too will be very shocked to know that this kind of measure can be taken. And anybody who is listening, including our, uh, our friends and everybody around, will be shocked to hear that such a thing is happening. And that's the situation right now. But like we said, here in Port Harcourt, we've been open indeed for you know, uh, any resolution that can take place. But indeed, um, we've not been able to get through to certain persons who would want that kind of thing to happen to us. So if for anything, uh, anything happens to this particular uh, station here, people from the immediate environment and River State and indeed all other you know, people around, including Imo, 
uh, Anambra and all that will be affected because the labor here, the staff we have here, comprises of people coming from majorly from these places, which is the reason why we're indeed worried, uh, you know, the outcome of this um, closure, because we, we are looking at it as a closure. If you disconnect the transmitter, you disconnect the, the cables uh, right there at the top of the mast, then of course you are indeed rendering thousands, uh, hundreds of people uh, into the job market, which is going to be very detrimental to, you know, the people here, and then of course uh, cause more problems in the labor market. DJ. DJ.